hello today we are going to interface seven segment display with the PIC microcontroller and we want to control the seven segment display with uh, a switch so first of all we will need a seven segment display In the last video I have shown you that I am using a cathode 7 segment and we will need a PIC microcontroller and a push button. Okay, now let's connect the circuit. As you know that uh, in the common cathode uh, 7 segment display, we need to ground this pin. Okay, and uh, let's connect the switch to the C port and 7th pin of the C port and again we have to ground this also and we need to provide power supply here this power supply of 5 volt ok so I want to program this uh, PIC microcontroller in such a way that uh, when I press the switch once it should uh, show zero and uh, when I press a uh, second time um, then it uh, should show uh, one and uh, hence up zero to nine or just by clicking this switch okay so if you have seen my last videos where I have already shown you how to use the high low logic using a uh, same push button so I am going to use here the same logic uh, here first of let me just uh, select this so first of all we need to define an uh, unsigned character let's say x which uh, I have initialized with x equals to 0 and then we have uh, uh, declared the main function void main and then uh, trace c which uh, shows that uh, the c port will be used as the input and b port will be used as the output then a while one and uh, here I have used that if port C equals to zero. if I have pressed the switch uh, once then it will show Z port B 0 X 3 F which uh, I I am sure that uh, you must have watched the last video where I have already shown that uh, 0 X 3 F is actually the hexadecimal code uh, for representing the zero in this way okay so for the number zero we write it in the form of 0 X 3 F and similarly and similarly for x equals to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 i am going to execute this program in such a way that uh, it will show the seven segment display as specific number okay so the compilation is done here and uh, let's run the simulation first of all we need to select the program and change the crystal of frequency clock frequency and now run the program so it starts from 0 and when I press it once it shows 1 for twice it shows a 2 and similarly 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then again 0 ok so in this way you can write your own program but here as you can see that this program is not very efficiently written ok 
so what i want you to write the same program in such a way that it should look more efficient and uh, it should consume less and less memory okay so try this and uh, if you have any problem so you can just write down in the comment section below okay thank you